Well, hello and welcome to On The Bank. You know, it's that time again when he and I compete for perhaps the greatest sporting trophy that has ever existed in the history of sport anywhere in the world. Now, England might have just won something called a tea something, hitting leather balls with bits of willow, which, quite frankly, is minuscule in comparison with the match that is ahead of us yes. today. We have both represented our countries. We are avid sports fans, but there is only one thing that matters in the world of sport, and that thing is here. This is the On The Bank Pound, and this is the On The Bank Challenge. Now then, this piece of water is just a little bit special. This is the River Wye. We are right in the centre of Hereford. And do you know what? I've always wanted to do this. Me too. I've seen people match fishing this stretch of water. Yep. It is incredible. Um, actually, about 15 years or so, I had a little walk down here. I was staying nearby, found a load of match anglers taking mm. part in a match, just kind of wandering down the river. It was minus two and they were catching loads and loads of chub and dace and roach. I've never seen anything like it. And ever since that day, I've wanted to do this. And so far, I have failed. And today, yes. we are going to get the chance to match fish the town stretch of the River Wine Hereford. Amazing. Not just match fishing. I'm going to wind the clock back to a, oh, I don't know, I would be seven or eight. And I came to Hereford with my folks, had a little walk through. And I remember standing on that bridge down there holding my little legs up, nearly falling over the parapet, looking at the river, going, one day I'm going to fish there, and I haven't done it yet. And I'm so looking forward to this. City centres, town centres, in the middle of winter, and it's not really the middle of winter yet, but winter time, yeah. they're so good, aren't they? Shrewsbury on the Severn, Hereford on the Wye, you know, the Neen, the Trent in Nottingham. Absolutely superb. We've got some great sport ahead of us here. But, obviously, he spends the majority of the time chucking fluff up trees. I knew he was going to say that. And I spend the majority of the time camping. So we need a couple of people to help <laughs> us and point us in the right direction. Now we've rung around. Yeah. Our number one and number two couldn't make couldn't it. Make but it. we have wheeled a couple of other people number in that seem to know. Before they were busy as well. I wasn't going to insult them that far. No. But uh, yeah, we've got a couple of lads that seem to know what they're doing on this bit of river. <laughs> What can you say about Dave Roberts, former Y champion, organiser of the Y festivals, a specialist on this river? This man is an absolute River Y legend. Dave's a bit of a silent assassin. He's very quiet. He looks pretty mean as well, but he's very, very good. I've known him for a long time through the UK Angling Championships. He's incredibly competitive. Andrew Neal, Wales international, fantastic competitor, possibly the most handsome match angler in the whole of Wales. This man has no equal. Well, Andy's a character, a real larger than life character. He's just, he's always got a smile on his face. He's full of fun. Don't let that deceive you though, because he's an incredibly good angler. Well, I've been given a few challenges in my time, but Fordy and Husey on the river. Oh, dear me, I don't know what I've let myself in for. Andy, I know, I've fished with Andy and uh, I know he, he does perhaps more of this sort of fishing, trotting and that sort of thing. So. I've got a feeling that he might get to grips with this a bit quicker. Um, but Rob, I'm really intrigued by. Rob's, I've only seen Rob on a professional level when he's been filming matches I've fished. And uh, I think he'll, I think he's quite a, a meticulous, obviously his carp fishing and what have you and that. So um, even though he's playing it down, he plays down his chance of saying, I'm just a carp fisherman. I'm not so sure. I think he could be quite, once he gets into it, he could be quite intense. And uh, I kind of quite fancy working with him, to be honest. So now you've been introduced to the key players. These two 
handsome gentlemen are going to be looking after Husey and I today to make sure we don't do anything completely stupid in the River Wye. But the big question is who is going to fish with who? Well, we've had a lot of debates about this and we didn't know whether it should be Team Rob against Team Andy or whether it should be Team Wales against Team England. So there is only one way to decide and that is the on the bank pound is now coming into full effect because we're going to toss to decide yeah. who is fishing with who. We're bringing in a member of our production team to do the honours, Saj. Right, who's calling? You call. Oh, right. Heads. That was the weakest toss I think I've ever seen. Right. It's heads. It's heads. <laughs> Ta-da! Right then. <laughs> Sorry, my friend. <laughs> so, team Andy, team Rob. Now, yes. the rules are going to be this. We're going to fish. We're going to classic Y match fishing it. tactics. Sorry, we're having sorry. team tactics sorry, we're already, already gone. Oh, no, 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 yeah, no. Yeah, we're, yeah, just, yeah. we're just discussing the we're, parameters we're of the We were planning map. our victory project yeah. trade, that's all. <laughs> really, really. <laughs> Can I just ask, first of all, as we've now cut the teams up, how are you feeling about the prospect of fishing with this? I wanted, I wanted Rob. Nothing personal, yeah, but Rob was my, because I'm not fish with, with Rob. <laughs> oh, is that the only reason? <laughs> no, I think, I, I, just, you, I, mean, I, I think you're going to be brilliant. <laughs> to be honest, I was going to choose Bodge because I know the sort of superiority of the you know, I mean, the man's a Welsh international, and I know you've won a few Stop matches. at Welsh. Stop at Welsh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, well, just because you're the former right, world champion come on. and all that sort of... Look, anyway, yeah. look. Former. We're going to start fishing former. now. Sorry. Former world champion. Former. Yeah, former. Two, oh, two, times. Time ago, two times. Right? Two times. 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 I prefer, prefer to be known as two times. Two times. Right. <laughs> this is what the whole day is going to be like this, which is, you know, part of the fun of the whole thing. But let's just have a couple of moments to discuss the rules, because we have in the past... Had yes. some problems with the rules, and we won't go into the details. There's no <coughs> silver nets, is there? No silver nets. No, that's They're all right, silver no. nets in here. Yeah, right. yeah, it's all so silver. we're going to fish for four hours. Yep. Okay. And it's going to be a straight way at the end. Yep. Everything counts except pike. Don't start trying to weigh a pike in. Right. Okay. Well, and, and obviously, he's got, get, he's got his camo gear on already, isn't he? Yeah, so I know. I was half expecting a to carp set of rods to come out. Yeah, I know. Is that a carp joke? Has it gone it's, down that, that route That already? wasn't a joke, was it? Well, it wasn't that was why it was tumbleweed. No, no, really? no, it's game on there, there's a, there's a barrier here. Hmm. Um, that's it. Anyway, long and short of it, let's just get on with the fishing. Forget the rules. Best man wins. Bye. This is it, mate. It looks an absolutely cracking peg, I've got to say. Very comfortable, but loads of features in it as well. I mean, I'm loving the tree and the slack water there. That screams perch. That's what that's what makes this peg is you've got that that bush above us or the, the tree. It creates a natural slack and then you've got natural flow then and it just creates everything. It's got that sort of refuge for the fish away from the flow, but flow for them to go and get feed. And it does. It, it, we could catch anything here. What we're going to do is ball in some ground bait on our stick float line. We'll yep. put six on like that. Don't right. have to be shy. On the Y, if you're not catching, it's not because you're feeding too much. Yep. That's a general rule of thumb, okay? So we're going to put six of those in the start, right. and then we're going to start building up loose feeding hemp and maggots over the top, creating that column of bait. Just get okay. it. It's all about getting that column of bait and get hopefully get those fish feeding them. I don't think we'll have to wait too long for a bite awesome. um, and uh, get that. We've got some casters there, which we'll, um, which we'll put in. I've also, this, now this is, I'd like us to sort of, not only just to win today, but I'd like us to do it in style. So I'm thinking we can we might have a chance of catching some perch. Oh, oh, they're on the box, right? Oh, oh they're ready to go. What time is it? We better uh, right. We we'll get in. We'll we'll come back to that perch bit in a minute. Yeah. Where, where are we? Yeah. Oh, we got one minute to go. Right, let's uh, just get yourself comfortable. Let's get in the saddle. Oh. So this is it. Competition is about to start. All in. Well, Saj has just called the all-in. Bodge? We're up. We're on. Yeah. Right, so, very quick, tactical discussion about what we do. Basically, we're going to try and catch pretty close in today um, on whips, starting a stick float. Um, we're going to feed a load of bait on this whip line, seven metres to hand, hopefully catch a lot of dace and, and big roach, we're hoping. Um, we're starting a stick float just past that, 
just so we can try and catch some early fish from further down the peg. But then with constant feeding, we're hoping to draw them up and get them sat right over the top of your ground bait where you can absolutely hammer them on a chuck. This is a proper man's river, isn't it? Good Lord. Oh, it's, it's unbelievable. Um, on recent form, you probably couldn't have drawn any worse today with me compared with Dave Roberts, but yeah. let me tell you, you're only as good as your last match. Yeah. And today, we'll be winning. I'm playing like a fairy this first one. No, listen, it's your first in. fish. It only counts if it's in the net, doesn't it? Oh, oh not look. going to that. Typical chub. 12 inch chub. Come out of there. Oh. <laughs> We'll get him. We've got him. Lovely. Well, that's a good start, isn't it? Oh, yes. Do you know the thing I love about this? We've turned up. You've done all the work. <laughs> I can't begin to say how grateful I am. You've set all the <laughs> kit up. I'm sat on your seat box. I'm using all your rods, your reels. You've done all the everything. All the work has been done. So thank you very much. <laughs> Don't be silly. It's fine. <laughs> it, was, uh, it was nice to come here and set up again, having done it all week last week on the festival. <laughs> but... Uh... So where are we fishing? Right, pull that, pull that into the yard. Yeah. That's it. Right now, hold on to him and let him let him run down. You feed. Yeah, big handful of big handful of hemp downstream slightly. That's it, and a big handful of casters upstream slightly. There might be one on there. Yeah. Fish on. First chuck. That'll be the first run through then. Wow. What do we got? Small dace. Well, that's a good start. So first fish in the net, little tiny dice. Float's just gone under and that's something slightly bigger, Bodge. What yeah. have we got here? i tell you what, your landing net handle's long. Oh, we got a chublet. Oh, chub. right now we're talking. We're gonna have you swinging them in soon. Brilliant. Do you like that for me, sir? Certainly well. That's very kind. Well, that's a chub of not quite a pound, maybe. You might be a pound. Might be a pound, him. Beautiful. Nice fish, aren't he? Cool. I'll have a that? few of those. No, you can imagine what. Catching one of those every run through is like, it's immense, isn't it? Just fantastic. <laughs> oh, very happy. Borderline ridiculous. Well, 10 minutes in and one fish. It's, uh, it's lovely. Just trying to get used to the kit at the moment. He says, making his first excuse. It's a lot longer a rod than I'm normally used to. But um, yeah, it's not going too bad. I, I'm not sure whether Ford is caught anything. Yes, he has. I've just seen him put one in the net. He's only catching dace, so. though. Is he? Yeah. And he's landing them as well, so they can't, you know. If, you, if you're landing dace, you're going to be you're going to be too slow, I think. Right. We've got that to fall back on, yeah. We're just giving ourselves a chance of a few early, a early bonuses. Been a little bit naughty already, because Husey just shouted down to ask me how many fish I've had. And I told him I've had four chub and a couple of dace, and actually I haven't. <laughs> and he's gone very quiet, Bodge. Yeah. <laughs> Although I've had a couple of chub. Don't, oh, they call it a bit of sportsmanship, don't they? They call it something. <laughs> I like the fact, the fact he's gone very quiet. Yeah. You can almost feel the bead of sweat coming down his brow <laughs> now, couldn't you? I'll tell you what, I've never known a man who likes losing less. Well, we'll find out how he likes shining pound coins later on, won't we? Oh, I like it. <laughs> Done my little, I quite often do this, doing like an early gamble. It's yeah. not a gamble for chucking a piece of bread in. We've had a fish on it, but yeah, yeah. it also tells you if they, you know, he's had four chub. Yeah. So if the chub are feeding, then, then bread would be the best bait for it. Chublet. You happy for me swinging that one? See, didn't use the net. You'd have, you'd have hit me if I'd used the net for that, wouldn't you? Yeah, I would have, yeah. <laughs> nice days. Yeah, hopefully those fish have just become, you know, we've given them a bit of confidence there to just feed and yeah, they'll lovely. be there. Lovely. That'll do. This is very cool fishing. 
just it's exactly what I'd hoped. This is what mm. this is my sort of dream of what the Y would be like, sitting on a seat box in just the most perfect conditions. I mean, you couldn't ask for any better today, could you? No, no. It's, it's um, we've been we've been waiting for this for uh, for a little while now, and it's it, it, everything's come good now. It's uh, the river's absolutely full of fish. I mean, usually it's you should have been here last week, but actually, <laughs> no. Today's the day. Yeah. The thing we, you know, we've only just started, and we're pretty much getting a, we're getting a bite every run through already. Um, it'll just get better. We've got to keep an eye on Robbo, though. He knows what he's doing on here, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah, don't he just? Yeah, Robbo's the type he'll, uh, especially when he's above you, he'll go into overdrive and just end up stealing all your fish. So. Uh, I've got one eye firmly fixed, don't worry. Good. Right, we're going to have a change of tactic now then. Half an hour on that to see if there's any big chub around. We've got one small one. So, just going on to a nice strung out stick float now. This is like just, you know, simple as you like. Yep. Stick float as it should be, shot spread out. Sweet. Um, we'll just put double maggot on there. You might want to let a bit of line out there, actually, just yeah. to... Um, it's only, like I say, it's only three and a half foot deep out there, so it shouldn't be anything... Any particular colour? You like reds or yellows? Or you, you always seem to go for reds, but I, I just pick up anything. You know, if it... Some days you feel like you have to put a red on, because they're there, but... Um, I just love reds. I don't think the fish really mind. And we're on the short line with this one. Yeah, so we're just coming just... That's it, that's plenty. I tell you the other thing is the gear is quite industrial for this, isn't it? I mean, this is a long rod. What is it? Fourteen foot. Sixteen, that one. Sixteen, is it? Mm. God, I thought it was heavy. Yeah, and it's a, it's a strong one as well. It's got a lovely forgiving tip, but it's um, it's got a really powerful mid and lower section, which is perfect for this game. You know, where where you're looking to swing big fish, really. And again, the length gives you the control you need, the line pickup. You can do it with shorter rods. You don't, you know, you don't need an excessive kit really. But um, we're match anglers, and we we, know, we like nice things. And uh, anything that makes our life easier is uh, is good for us, isn't it? Oh, I'm not going to disagree with you. I think <laughs> I know you of old how much of a tackle tart you are. Well, it's not. <laughs> it's not wrong. It's not wrong. It's a compliment. I, Mm, nice days. Change of tactics is definitely paying off, Dave, isn't it? I mean, this, yeah, uh, I mean, this is what you, this is what you expect this time of year. These days, there's lots of these days here, and um, we've just been building up that column of bait, and uh, they're quite happy to feed on it. I've even seen some fish swirling on the bait, so um, signs are good. We can, you know, these this is where we can get into our match and uh, start building weight. Oh, Hughes, he's just had a little dace as well. I am in the zone here, you know. You are, you are. You are getting getting a bit more fluid now. It's good. Do you think I should slow down on the hemp a bit? Because we're halfway through the pot already. Am I feeding too much? Ooh. No, just keep going, mate. I've got more. <laughs> <laughs> like it. So what I'll be doing now is, you know, in, in match fishing, you're sure. looking to just build this up now. Get get into a rhythm. Yep. Start putting weight in the net. Put, putting yep. some fish in the net. And um, we can always look at being, you know, looking for bonuses and what have you, maybe a perch or something in a bit. But if we, if we get our, our rhythm with this, we'll soon be building the weight. Yes. Well, those bites have come really, really quickly, just mm. leaving that line feed. Yeah. Yeah, look, they're right. Again, that's a better one, this one. Yeah. And that one was just on that slightly farther out line, so yeah. it could be... It's great fishing, isn't it? Oh, it's lovely. Okay. Things are progressing quite nicely. In fact, I, this is extraordinary. I've never really seen anything like this. Um, Bodger switched me over to fishing a whip, which has no reel on it. Obviously, it's like fishing a pole, essentially, isn't it, mate? Yeah, um, pole to hand, yeah. And it's just catching really fast. Now, what we found, I've had quite a few bites, but I was losing one or two fish. So what he's done is put in a load of ground bait to nail the fish to the bottom. And I'm getting a, a fish every, oh my Lord, I just lost one then. 
every run through, which is just extraordinary. It's as simple as this, just laying the rig in and just trying to keep in touch with the, the float. I think there's one on there, yeah. And then it's just a case of rather scarily. It's a roach. That's the first roach of the day. That's interesting. They're really in trouble if they turn up. Are they? Yeah, some of the roach in here are phenomenal. Well, we're going speed-wise at the moment and uh, shallowed up a little bit just to see if we can catch fish a bit quicker. This, the last few have been a bit smaller, mate, haven't they? Yeah, and I just feel like you can see this fish swirling for our bait here. I'm just wondering whether the bigger ones are coming up coming up a bit shallower, so uh, it's worth just tinkering a little bit. Oh, and the answer is no. Mm, still not the small one. There's so many, like there's millions of fish here and it's just, uh, unfortunately, the, uh, the perhaps the bigger ones don't need to come and compete as much, so the, you get the little ones. But they'll be away, we'll, we'll yeah. work it out, they'll be away of finding them bigger ones again. You, you say millions of fish, from what I read about the why, it's in, uh, it's in terrible form. You know, people are talking about pollution, etc., etc. But I've got to say, what I've seen today, that sort of doesn't quite marry up, really. No, th this is the problem. This is a big problem. Um, it's something that I personally find, really sort of take uh, take exception to is the fact that there is there clearly is a problem with the river in the fact of the phosphate levels, polluters. You know, there's there's stuff going into the river that shouldn't be going into the river. Um, and I get all that, and I would never say anything against anyone who's trying to stop that, that's fine. But what you read, if you read the national press and anything local, it's like this river's dead. It's, it's like it's a polluted cesspit. Yeah. And as I said that then, did you hear that kingfisher? Yes. Kingfisher, yeah. gulls, ducks, swans, millions of fish. Uh, I see more otters than I've ever seen. So, so it doesn't, that doesn't add up to me. Amazing sight, all those leaves coming mm. down. Makes me think of roach fishing. Yeah. Or oh, if that float had gone under then and there'd been a roach on the end, Bodge. Oh, is that a crab tree? Perfect, perfect. Straight out of crab tree. I don't think crab tree would have fished a eight metre whip. No. And, and, a, four, and a four gram bolo float on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, clonk. Up she goes. Right, so there's, well, that's a, not a bad it's a one. Better one again, so I, I'm confident those fish are there now. So I think what we'll do now is we're going to just feed some bait <gasps> to give ourselves a chance of a bonus, a, a, you know, a, a bigger perch yep. or a roach, um, just to keep it interesting. It might not work because there's so many fish out there. But so what we're going to do, if you just hook that up for a second, yeah, we'll right. do this slightly so them boys down there don't see what we're yeah. up to. Okay, cool, cool. Now on that side tray, there, I think I put yeah. a bait dropper there somewhere. Is there yes. a silver? There is a bait dropper there. Okay, so you know how these work. I don't use bait droppers. No, I don't suppose you would, would you? But yeah. there we go. So we're just going to put the hook through the loop and tuck it into the cork there. Right. Yeah. So how the bait dropper works, yeah. we fill that with bait, yeah. hook that over there. Yeah. It goes in, it sinks to the bottom. As it sinks to the bottom, Bang, that it goes. It and does that. And it's just oh, a nice way of feeding a lump of worms. Okay. So if you fill that with worms, Rob. Right. And then what we're going to do is just lower it. And you want to pick a spot, right. probably in line with that grass bank on the far side yeah. and we're not going too far we're just going to drop it no, no just let it oh. swing just sort of almost just off the rod tip there that's it that's there. it and right. then lower okay. it down there you go till you feel it hit the bottom and then lift yeah. it up that's it now lift it out now and that should have emptied there you yeah. go lovely so we fed that now yeah so that's so um, just a one Literally so just just, just put one in just put a bit of worm in there just to give them a taste of it. Right. And then, uh, and, and then we'll leave that for 10 minutes or so, and then we'll come back and have a go, and we can put a big worm on that hopefully won't get too, too mashed up by the, the little dace. Sweet. Um, and and we're going sweet. back on the other one, are we? Yep, just carry on catching now. We've just set that up, really. How am I doing, Bodge? Doing well, mate, doing very well. So Quite, got... I'm, I'm quietly confident on the, uh, looking at, uh, looking at the way Rob's catching up there. He's, yeah. ca he's catching plenty of fish, but, the size and speed that you're what you're catching now, you, you know, you're going to take some beating for sure. Really? That's exciting news. There's a bit of, I mean, you know, I'm, I know this is Husey against me, but this is you against Robbo, isn't it? As well? <laughs> there's as much of that going on here. I know you two. There, there's are... definitely a bit of that, yes, especially because I mean, you know, let's be fair. Rob, Robbo on this river is 
is what I refer to as the as the oracle. Yes, he um, is. You know, he guides on here for a living, and if you ask him about levels, what's coming in, what's forecast, he he can pretty much tell you exactly. And and I've never known him miss. Um, so yeah, he's. He's, he's, he's an exception on here. He really is. I mean, he's very good everywhere, but particularly on here. Um, and my recent form on here is terrible. After, <laughs> after, <laughs> after last week. Now you tell me. Yeah, my festival last week was horrendous. So uh, I'm definitely due, due a day's fishing. Right. And I'm having it for you. So no, I'm quite happy with that. I get, I get just as much, if not more, fun out of watching people catch like this than uh, I'm doing it myself. What we should do is to fool them down there. We should get the landing net out a few times, just make them think we're catching bigger fish than we are. <laughs> I'll look for that. Still, Mind look. you, no, that might um, that might push them along a little bit. Well, so, you know, that's that's might. the psychology of matches. Isn't yeah. it? Do you make it look like they're behind, or do we just discreetly go yeah. about our business? Well, the other one is like constantly, constantly firing an empty catapult, so yeah. people they think you're feeding loads. This is on canals. You'd be feeding all the time with a catapult. Yeah feeding absolutely nothing they go oh you must be putting some bait in you've got to love an edge haven't you just yeah. these these little things that you do what do we do about a chub do we try or not um it depends what you want to do do you want to be a complete savage and just win yes then no we just keep clattering big dice okay um that's all i needed to know We're about halfway through now, and um, I have to say Rob's doing quite well actually, um, which I thought he would do, but it started off very quite erratic and, and not, not in a, a technical sense. I think his own sort of, uh, his own competitive edge was, was, was making him sort of erratic and he was catching, catching fish, but then he was getting frustrated because he'd pull out of them and, and he's sort of settled down now. He's in a nice rhythm and he's catching fish. I think from what I've seen, I think he's, he's winning at the moment. Um, and we've had a nice start. He's doing really well in fairness. We put some bait in at the start and uh, it's not quite the catastrophe I uh, anticipated. Um, we started on stick float, caught, caught quite a few on that. That told us straight away that there was fish in the peg. So what we've then done is moved on to a long whip, which in fairness took him a little bit of getting used to. Obviously it's not something he's done before, um, but the way he's picked it up has been brilliant. Uh, we're now running, now running a, a small bollow float on a seven, seven metre whip over the top of our bait, feeding really heavily to keep the fish down. And he's catching well, I think he's enjoying himself. He's catching plenty of dace. He's probably catching more than I would in fairness. But um, halfway in, quietly confident. What do you think Rob's got at the halfway point? I don't know, he's got a lot of fish, but he's been catching these smaller ones recently. I think he might be close to double figures. Right. Um, I don't know, I don't know. It's hard to say, isn't it? Because you're not sat on the box yeah. judging it yourself, right? What about 40? Yeah, well, we, we, we've been lucky in that we, we've managed to, we caught some small ones early on, but we've managed to nail a few of the bigger ones now. Mm. I would think 10 to 15 pound. Mm. I would yeah, think. So it looks from where I am. Mm. Uh, it's, um, they're very intense, aren't they? They don't, cool. they're really nice. it's a quid like. I, I, I did mention it to him. Do you fancy changing things up? Maybe, you know, have a look for a chub? Will that help us win? No. I said, well, no. To be honest, you just need to keep doing what you're doing. Yeah. I'll do that then. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, they're very serious. Really. But it'd be interesting to see how it all pans out. Mm. Right, we've got to get back to them, haven't we? Yeah. Left them alone for too long now. <laughs> should go to the pub. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Pie a pint and then we come back for the weigh-in, shall we? Yeah, that'll do us. Yeah, definitely. Come on in. Well, this is going really well. Um, so much so, I, I just, I've got no idea how many fish I've caught, but I will say it's a lot. Um, <laughs> oh, I've missed the net. Look, I've missed the net with about 10 fish, I think. I'm catching a fish a bun. You can probably hear from my voice. I'm shaking because I'm so excited. I've never fished, never done anything approaching this. This is extraordinary stuff. This is my life now. 
sitting on Bodge's seat box, feeding as much ground bait as you can get your hands on. It kind of, everything is automatic. I'm getting into this lovely rhythm of rig goes in, float goes down, float goes under, and then on the end of it is a perfect little river wide dace. I, I must have had, I reckon I've had a hundred fish. I don't know, possibly more. It's just ridiculous. The bells are chiming. Hughes is up there, God knows what he's caught. I'm sensing he's probably caught about the same. This is going to be very close, you know. Well, I don't know whether it's going to be very close. I haven't got a clue. It's just incredible. Feed, strike, play fish, land fish, unhook fish. Bodger's just gone for some more ground bait. Whoop. We're running out of bait. Can't fish fast enough. Incredible stuff. Look at the state of my hands. <laughs> Look at that. Covered in muck and bullets. Right, change of tactics now. And I'm going up the pole for the last hour. Uh, just because we think we might be behind. Primarily because the fish that Ford is catching. Oh, it's not going to help if I swing him out there. The fish that Ford is catching seem to be a little bit bigger. So we've got to catch twice as quick and we're just not going to do that on the rod. The biggest problem for me, Dave, I think half the time isn't getting the bite, it's actually unhooking them and sticking another maggot on quick enough. Yeah, it's, um, it, it, it's very really smooth, but you're catching well now. And there is an odd bigger one that, you know, they're, they're not a bad stamp. You catch, you know, if you catch them twice as quick as... Um, There's Fordy there. There's, you know what I mean? That's it's just it's just sheerly the fact that, that from what i can see that they're catching quality fish and i think it's because of that shallower water that you know they're on that sort of gravel and uh, we've got a you know a little bit of a slacky which could have played into our favor with them perch and roach had sort of sat there but as it is i think it's stopping us catching those quality fish all the time but this is good you know you're catching well now so um it's going to be close mate isn't it i Ooh. think it's a great match look at that that's, that's the ones we want look so there's a few of those there I say the only problem for yes. me is, is is most of their fish are that size. Are they really? Um, that's an incredible stamp of dace. That, yeah. That's lovely, isn't it? That'd be brilliant on the on the float for a day's pleasure fishing. That would. Yeah. I'd love a day of that. Right then. But same as you said earlier. As long as you keep catching a fish every cast, you'll have a nice weight at the end. Whether it'll be enough or not, we don't know. Oh, right. Game on now. Then it's going to be competition head back. I'm interested in the, the, I mean, you know, I've seen the weights that people get on these matches mm. doing. I can see now why you can build a weight of a hundred pound of these. It's extraordinary stuff. Well, where are the edges? Where, where, you know, what's the difference? We, you were saying a few minutes ago, we were chatting off camera um, about, you know, sitting there and catching 70 pound of these and being nowhere in the match. Yeah. Frightening. It for is. A start. Really, it is. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the important bit when, you, when you're doing this sort of thing is, is how quickly you can put one on the hook. It's not about being particularly fast, it's about being rhythmical, but it's about how quickly you can get a bite and that bite be a, a hooked fish in the mouth. Um, and that is all to do with tailoring your feeding, like we've done today, you know, because we've changed it right the way through the day, haven't we? Yeah. You know, we've gone from big handfuls, irregular big handfuls, to little and often to now a ball of ground bait every other run through. Um, so, it, you know, it does change and it's all about staying, trying to stay in tune with it. So, every time the float goes in and settles, it goes under with a fish on. I mean, when, when this goes well for you, you must feel like you're in the best zone ever. Oh, yeah, it's literally that, you know, I cannot get enough of it. This is the best fishing you will have anyway. I'm just trying to try and keep it, if we can keep it away from them days, there might be a chance of some ropes there. Say that again. It's almost like I know what I'm on about, isn't it? <laughs> right, so just taking nice and steady with that. That's a nice roach, huh? Go on then. That'll do. Now, if you start catching them, yes. they, they do weigh, you know? You know oh, weigh. yes. Looking at this today, I know we're probably a month behind, but only because we've had unseasonable weather. Yeah, the weather's weather, been but weird, isn't it? Because everything migrates into the town, which it seems to be doing now, God only knows what's going to happen over the next few weeks, you know. Oh. If we have a bit of rain later this week and it puts a, maybe a foot of water on it and some colour, we'll be catching roach like this, one a chuck. You know, it's just insane, really. 
But that's the, I suppose that's the other thing, the variety you can get, isn't it? Because yeah. you can, let's be honest, sit here and do this, catch dace. Yeah. You can do the crazy bleak stuff if you want to. Yeah. You can catch roach, you can catch perch. Mm. They're a barbel here, they're a chub. Yeah. You know, it's just, it's, they're a pike if you want to go pike fishing. I and mean, this is a stunning river. Just, I'm, I'm just blown away by today. Yeah, yeah. It's, um, it's, you almost have to do it and see it to, to really believe how epic it is. You know, it, uh, like I said it before, you know, I'm quite new to it really in comparison with some of the other guys here. Um, but I just can't get enough of it. All summer, all I can think about is coming on here in the winter. It's nice having an automatic baiting machine next door to me as well. Yeah, don't tell them that, though, that we'll get accused of cheating. Oh, no, no, it's allowed in this match. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah, that's yeah. right, right, I'm free reign now then, I'll be lashing it in. The other thing that's worth noting is these pegs get fished every day. You know, the fishing is so good and obviously all the, all the club members and whatnot know, know and realise that, that you've got, to get, you've got to get on these pegs very early in the morning to get them. Um, you know, through the week, you, you, can't, you, you can't just bowl up at 10 o'clock and, and decide to have a fish because you won't get on it. What, you mean like I did today? Yeah. Like, you know, like, you know you've oh, set all the kit up. There's, right? there's a set of gear all ready there. Yeah. I'll go and do that. <laughs> Fantastic. Another dace swings to hand. Oops, or misses. Coming a seasoned pro at this already, isn't you? I don't know about that. I'm, I'm fascinated to see what I've got in here because I honestly can't tell you. Um, I've, I'm catching so many fish, I've lost count. And I know that the guys count during the matches. If somebody come up to me at the end, I could have £10, £20, £40. I've got no idea. It is amazing. No, well, you know, you, you've got into a lovely rhythm now and it's, it's working, isn't it? You know, we've got loads of bites. We've got, the, we've got plenty of fish coming, so just got to keep going now. This is what we want, these fat ones. You can see they're, uh, they're plumping up. Everything does this time of year, doesn't it? It, gets, it puts its winter weight on. The chub get bigger. <laughs> the anglers get the bigger. The presenters <laughs> get bigger. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, isn't it? It's everything weighs heavier than it does in the summer. My, um, my urgency is gone for this match now. It's not that I've lost it, but I think I'm, I'm in the stage now where it'll be what it is. I think it's just a case of plugging at it. You know, you were mm. saying earlier about how do you how do you cope with intensity of matches, and I think now it's uh, it's a case of just carrying on doing it. I think the nervousness earlier was just because I didn't know what I was doing. Oops, he says just as he tangles everything. In. Yeah, I think you, in, you're into a rhythm. You know what to expect now, and um, you you know what the end goal is, and you're just doing what you can to get there. Really. Oh, I think there are the odd occasions where I'm not. I'm not lifting it enough. But you don't know what it's going to be. You don't know if it's going to be like a half ounce bleak or a six ounce dace. You try not to miss the net so often, Fordy. Did I just miss the net again? No, no, but you've done it enough times today. Sorry, just, coach. Just saying. <laughs> What's that? Mm, oh, it's a big yes. roach. That's what we want. We just need to take a section off that. That is what we want. Come on, then. Oh, that is lovely. That's what we like, isn't it? Oh, yes. That, look at that. That is an absolute beauty. Come on, Roach. Get it. Well done. Thank you very much. Well done. <laughs> he said well done. Double caster. Well done. Look at that. That it's is proper awesome. Roach. Wow. Tell you what. That is worth coming for in itself. That is beautiful. Look it's at over that. Over a pound, that isn't it? Oh, easy over a pound, that. the tiniest caster in the world there. All out! Oh! That is it. Well, mate, I've got to say, firstly, well, thank you ever so much. Well done, mate. What an absolute superstar. Everything that he suggested, whether it was bread down the middle, 
for chub at the beginning, maggots for the dace, coming down having a go for the perch and then back end of the day having a go for the roach. Everything has been absolutely bang on. You are the man it's, when uh, it comes to knowing the river, that is for sure. It'd be nice if it worked in matches every match wow. I fish, wouldn't it? Well, it'd <laughs> be interesting to see what's happened actually, won't it? I, I, yeah. I feel like... I have to say, you've, I think you've got, the way you got into a rhythm on those days was really nice and I think it's... Um, for something that's far, you know, like I say, you've not done this, you've not been on this river and fished like this before. Um, and we've done, like I say, we fished the stick float, we fished the pole with the worm, we fished a strung out rig now for rope. Oh, you've definitely worked me. We've it's done, been, yeah. It's not been one method and just sitting there. The last time I fished a river match, by the way, was 1986. No, well, there you go then, see? So, uh, yeah. yes. Let's hope it's not as long this time. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Absolutely what brilliant. Do you, what do you reckon then, do you think? Uh, I don't know what I've got. I'm worried, I'm worried that they were catching well in all, and they seem to be catching a more consistent stamp of fish. Yeah. But we caught really quickly there, even though they're a smaller fish, they were, when you got them lined up. So uh, I think it'll be reasonably close and uh, who knows? Well, maybe, look, maybe those couple of roach might tip you. You never know, that, that, let's hope so, let's hope so. I'll tell you what though, if you go home, even if you just visit, visit this river once, if you go in with a roach like that, that last yeah, that That's last amazing, time, absolutely amazing. Mate, that, well, it's a thumbs up from me. This river's been brilliant, Dave's been absolutely fantastic. I'm going to say whatever the result, it doesn't matter, but I'd be lying because, of course, the result really <laughs> does matter. Pound. And I want that pound back from 40. Uh, but, um, yeah, what a lovely place. What a great day. Been, been brilliant. Mr Hughes. <laughs> what a river. Why have I never fished this before? Oh, that is the most unbelievable four hours of fishing I have ever spent in my life. Yeah. Yeah, that is, it's lovely, isn't it? Just brilliant Just fun, isn't really it? Really nice, really nice. I, I looked at you a few times, but every time I looked at you, I wasn't concentrating on what I was doing. And with this small fish fishing, you've got to be on it all the time. Have, yeah. So uh, genuinely, I don't know. I'm hopeful. What do you reckon, Dave? We, we reckoned that we got around about 20 before we went into the last little bit down the edge. And we had a couple of, we had a couple of nice roach. <laughs> had a couple of nice roach. So, I don't know, it's going to be close, but to be fair, it's going to be a good close, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So, right. it's going to be a good close. You best get the scales out then. Yeah. I'm nervous now. Well, so am I. This is looking a good net, Dave, isn't it? Yes, yeah, so I think, uh, here we go. This is... Uh, I think they've done us. Oh, Look at us. Stamp them. Incredible. We'll do it in two, shall we? I think we should. Wow! Go. Moment of truth. We've isn't. caught hardly any that big. Yeah. Oh mate, you've absolutely smashed me. You reckon? Yeah. £16.6. Six. Not being funny, this has been one of the best days fishing I've ever had. That's a very good split. 16.6 six and 16. So I've had 30, 32, 32, 32 six. six. 32 pounds That is six phenomenal. Out of the white. 32 pounds six. Wow. I thought I had 25. Come and have a picture. So there we go, 32 pounds six ounces of dace, roach, chub, couple of grayling. Couple of grayling. <laughs> unbelievable days fishing. Just oh, unbelievable, Bodge. Yeah, you've done it well, mate. No, you know, hats, hats off. The, the, way you, the way you got to grips with that whip, considering you've not done it before, was, well, I didn't need to do anything, did I? Last, last half of the match, it was just all down to you. I've loved it. Thank Brilliant. you so much. Now, let's see what Mr. Hughes has caught. Mm. Oh, there's a couple of nice roach in there, Rob. Look, look at that. That is just an absolute stunner. Oh. So first weigh is £11.4. Yep. First weigh £11.4. On the bank pound. Oh, it is going south. There is no way. That is £14.8. Oh, oh £25. £14.4. So what was that? £25 something in total. 40 I tell you what, you absolutely deserve that. That was a brilliant result, mate. Well done. Well, well done. Now then, that has been the most extraordinary day. And I just want to say thank you to you. Thank you to you, because without the two of you, none of this would have happened. Brilliant. Hasn't that been amazing? I don't lose matches and smile.
And yet, and yet now, uh, that has just been such a good day. It's been. Do you, do you know what it really is? Is, is now when anyone says to you about r the, the winter fishing in Hereford, in Hereford Town Centre, you, you know what they're talking about now. Oh, I do, yeah. Phenomenal. I do. You know, you can see why everybody loves it so much. Just wish I lived closer to that. I know, oh, absolutely. I'm, absolutely. I'm coming amazing. back to have another game. Anyway. Well, well, there is one. I mean, don't, anyway, there is one more <laughs> thing, obviously, that we've got to do. Mr. Adjudicator, <clears throat> you have been bank rolling, so uh, there it is. Congratulations. Thank you, Sarge. There it is. The on the bank pound. Look at that one, Bodge. It's ours. It's ours. No, I'll still give you your 25p, mate. For, uh, sure. <laughs> for just for coming along. <laughs> Has he shined it up enough? No, no. It's not shiny. Uh, but I'll tell you what. It's mine. 